Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rick, and welcome to another episode of Subnautica! This episode, we're gonna start off by building a mobile vehicle bay. So we're gonna need titanium ingot, lubricant, and a power cell. Okay, power cell, that's something a little bit new. Looks like we need two batteries and some rubber, or silicone rubber. We can do that. That sounds easy enough. So, let's see. Um, speaking of two batteries, as a matter of fact, I think I can actually make... A battery charging station. I can! With copper, a computer chip and copper wire. If I build myself another little base down here, I could probably do that. So let's go ahead and start off by building a new base. A base underneath the base. A new base of operations. I'm gonna build a platform. Bam. Okay. Beautiful. Just build a little base right here. And I'm gonna build, let's see. Perfect. This guy here. Alright. Of course, we're going to need a, some power, so I'm going to build a solar panel right back here. Up oh, need some more titanium and quartz. I can do that. Let's just go find some titanium quartz. Here we go. Quartz is right here. That's easy enough. Right, now that my base is built, before I get Welcome started building Captain. anything else, for the love of God, I need to build some wall lockers because I have no friggin' storage. And if I'm going to go get seed clusters in order to make lubricant and in order to make uh, silicone rubber, then I'm going to need space because those seed pods are gigantic. Here we go. So let's go ahead and just get into our locker here. And just start putting away everything. Goodness me. We have so much crap on us. I can't pick up anything. It's just too much stuff. Okay. I can put everything away now that I don't need. Put away the signal. Yes, definitely. Okay, I have one seed pod on me. I'm going to put away my seed glide because I'm not using it right now. Because I don't have any battery. And, yeah, you know, I'm going to put away the laser cutter and everything. Everything I don't need, basically. There we go. Now let's go get some seed pods, damn it. All right. I see all these clusters are glowing. All these clusters are glowing, and they just ripe for the picking. Come here, cluster. Creep vine, creep vine, creep vine, cluster. Come on, come on. There we go. Ha ha, yeah. And we got a cluster here. Pick ya. Bunch of clusters over here. Pick ya, pick ya, pick ya. Fantastic. There we go. Oh, God. Ugh, stupid, stupid, stupid stalkers. Get the hell out of here before I die. Oh god, another bite like that will surely kill me. God, I can I can hear it chomping at my at my heels. Come on! Swim, man! Swim like you've never swam before! Just keep going! Keep going! Uh, I think I think we're in the clear. I think we're in the clear. I'm not gonna turn around to find out though. Just keep swimming. Keep looking dead ahead. Until you get into this uh, life pod. Don't turn around. All right, Emergency. there we go. Ten seconds Perfect. Okay, so I should have enough to make the silicone and the lubricant that I need. Let's see. Silicone, bam. And lubricant, bam. Okay, so what else do I need in order to make my battery charger? Let's see. Computer wire, copper, glass, titanium. Okay, easy. Okay, computer chip and copper wire. Copper wire being made right now. Computer chip is going to take silver ugh, silver ore. Of course, silver ore is the bane of my damn existence. Always with the silver ore. Silver ore is stupid. I hate you, silver ore. I hate you so much. Okay, let's go find this stupid silver ore and get it over with. Ooh, outcropping. Could it be silver? Could it be silver? Yes, it could be silver. Oh, fantastic. Okay, good. Get back to the life pod now. God, I feel like this is Groundhog Day. I keep repeating the same situations over and over and over again. I need silver. Go look for silver. Can't find silver. Take forever finding silver. Find silver. Rinse, repeat. 
Okay, get air sacs on the way so I can drink. Drink to my heart's content. Emergency. Also, give me peeper if I can get remain. peeper. Okay, let's get air first. Air and then peeper. Ooh, peeper, peeper, peeper. Air and then peeper. Come on, Rick. Air and then peeper. All right, finally got my hands on some silver, so now we can make the wiring kit. I think we can make the wiring kit. Let's see. I need two silver. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like the chunks that contain silver and whatnot are way more sparse than they used to be in the older builds of this game. I'm having such a difficult time just finding outcroppings that have silver in it, let alone just the silver itself. Okay, yeah, see, there we go. I found another outcropping, and it took me about three minutes to find that one from the last time I found one. And I didn't even find the silver that I needed. Okay, here's another outcropping. Maybe they're just better disguised. Maybe that's a problem. Oh, God. God damn it. Get away from me. What the hell just attacked me? Okay, here's another. Okay, two more outcroppings. They are very well disguised. I will say that. Okay, copper, copper. Still no silver. Okay, here's a couple more outcroppings. Please, for the love of God, please have silver. Please, please, please. Okay, inventory's full. God damn it. Uh, what am I going to drop? Um... Can I eat you? I can, okay. That probably wasn't advisable, but I, I did it just to test whether I could. Titanium, of course, of course. Another outcropping, for the love of God. Please be silver. Um, I'm gonna drop this tooth because I don't really need it at the moment. Lead, of course you're lead, you're not silver. Titanium! Yes, great. More titanium. Silver? Copper! Oh, please, please, please be silver. Titanium. Of course. Of course it's titanium. Yeah, see an outcropping there, but there's a stalker. Oh, God, he, he's caught my scent. Oh, God, he's caught my scent. I, I may possibly die. Got lead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, before I die, please just find some silver. Please, 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 please. Inventory full. God damn it. Um, he just took whatever dropped... Okay, you can have it. You can have it. I don't need it. Oh, God. Come on, please, for the love of God. I just want silver! God damn it. Man, this is getting insane. They've made it way too difficult to find silver in this damn game. It's, it's ridiculous. I've been looking for silver. One more piece of silver for about 45 minutes. A single piece of silver. I found copper, lead, gold, titanium. I found tons of that stuff. I have not found the one piece of silver that I need. And I know that I'm supposed to be looking in the grass biome and in the creep vine biome. So it's not like I'm looking in the wrong places. I'm looking in the same places that I've always found silver. I just have not been able to find any. This is really getting a little ludicrous. Finally, finally. After 45 minutes of searching, I found silver. The two pieces of silver it takes to do the things that I need to do, it took me collectively an hour to find two silver. I love this game. I love it to death. But for the love of God, could you fix that? Could you maybe make it a little bit easier to find silver? When I need silver to make just about everything high tech in this game, could you make it just a little bit more accessible? Or maybe require one silver instead of two to make wiring kits? That could help as well. My god, I am at my wit's end. Super duper frustrated right now. Oh, good god. And I'm going to need more. I'm going to need more. This is just what I'm going to need in order to make the battery recharging station. Okay, end of my rant now. Let's just go ahead and get it done. Build the damn wiring kit that I need. For the love of god... Wiring kit. Finally, two silver ore to make this goddamn thing. Oh, good God. Oh, man, I'm frustrated. Really frustrated. Okay, I need a computer chip and I need glass. Okay. Computer chip and glass. Computer chip, right? I need silver ore! All right, after much cursing and gnashing of teeth, I think I finally have what I need in order to build this goddamn thing. Okay, I need a computer chip, right? Computer chip, great. I've got the stuff to build a computer chip. Okay, awesome. Now, I can pull out my, my building tool, right? I need glass. Okay, fine. I can do that. I'm not going to panic. Glass I can do. Glass. Great. Okay, now the glass is made. Finally, 
I can build my battery charger. Thank God. Okay. Let's get inside of uh, our, our, our base here. Our little base. Build the battery charger. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. I'm going to build the battery charger right over here. Right over here? Yeah, I'll build it right here. Finally, it's done! But that's not even close to being the end of the episode, because we still have to build this up. But that's not even close to being the end of the episode, because we still have to build the Seamoth. So let's go get some batteries, okay, from our temporary storage over here. I think that's where we stuck all our batteries at. Open storage. Ah, there we go. One, two, three, four batteries. Great. Now let's go charge these suckers up. Find out how much juice these things take. Okay, right now this thing's got 50 out of 50 power. And we're opening this thing up. I'm going to go ahead and slap some batteries in there. Slap a, slap a, slap a, slap a. There we go. Batteries are in. And. Okay. So they're being charged. 1%. Okay, this is going to take a while. Let's let these things go. In the meantime, let's go ahead and find out what we need in order to build our mobile base thingy. Alright? And I'm sure I'm going to need more silver. So I'm going to be cursing a lot more. I'll try to cut that part out of the episode. Won't let you guys uh, listen to me curse the entire time. But okay. Okay, titanium ingot and power cell. Okay, so the power cell, that's where we're going to need two batteries and then something else, right? Um... Let's see, two batteries and silicone rubber. Oh my god, this is actually so doable. This is so, so doable. I don't need any silver to do this. Oh, oh, happy day. Okay, all I need is some mushrooms. One, two, three, four mushrooms. I just need some copper, which I think I've actually got. Do I have it on me? If I don't have it... Oh, I do have it on me. Fantastic. Okay, I should have everything I need to make the mobile vehicle bay. I just need a power cell, which means that I need two batteries. Okay, this I can do. One battery. And a two battery. Great. And then I think I need silicone rubber and, yep, two batteries in order to make the power cell. All right. One giant power cell is made. And bam! Mobile vehicle bay is operational. Oh, it's taking a while to make. It's a big fella. Okay. Almost done. There we go. All right. Vehicle bay is made. And now it's time to release the vehicle bay. Let us release it. Where are we gonna really oh my god it's it's so it's so big it's blocking my view of everything you're in the way I don't, I don't know where I am okay let's figure out where we are let's get our bearings I'm gonna want an area that's gonna be a little bit deep because if I'm gonna make a like a say a, a Cyclops later on I'm gonna want it to have some area there we go <laughs> success let's go ahead and get up on this thing climb beautiful all right use vehicle bay vehicles Seamoth, okay. I need a titanium ingot, can, can do. Power cell, can do. Glass, can do. Lubricant, this seems too easy. There's no silver required in this. Thank God. Okay, titanium ingot, power cell, two glass, and lubricant. I can do this. Oh, I can do this. This is so doable. So, so doable. Who knew the hardest part of this game was going to be building the... Battery charging station. I thought for sure that the Seamoth would be way harder to do. All right. I think I've got all that titanium that I need in order to make this thing now. Let's go ahead and check it out. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to make some titanium because I have scrap. There we go. Make a little bit more titanium because I have more scrap. And then we'll make an ingot. And that's going to take a second to make this ingot. There we go. Ingots made. Okay, so did I make that silicone rubber? I think I did. So let's see, we have an ingot, we have silicone rubber, we have lubricant, and we have glass. I think that's all that we need in order to make the Seamoth. Let's go find out. I think I'm remembering this correctly. Let's go ahead and hop up on this thing. Come on. Climb up on. All right. The moment of truth. Wait, power I forgot the power cell. Da doy, Rick. It wasn't silicone that you needed. It was a power cell, of course. How else are you going to power this thing, you dumb dumb? It's okay. I've, that's what I needed the silicone rubber for. I was thinking I need silicone rubber because I needed it for the power cell. Of course, of course. Okay, I can make two batteries. And there we go. One more battery. Okay, so with two batteries and one silicone rubber, that makes a power cell. Fantastic. Now we're ready to make a Seamoth. Okay, without further ado, let's do... Oh, man. I'm so happy this is finally happening. 
I've worked so hard this episode. Scraping together. Now, granted, I could have just jumped straight to the Seamoth and I didn't have to deal with making that battery charging station, but I'm glad I did, okay? So here we go. Seamoth. Look at the little guys. Go to work. They're making it. They're doing it. Oh, finally. Oh, yes, guys. We've got our Seamoth. We're riding in style. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, yes. Look at this. We're going to be able to do so much exploring in this thing, you guys. Uh, I'm going to have to make more power cells, though, because I'm sure that this thing's going to run out of energy just as quickly as the Sea Glide did, didn't it? I mean, maybe it's going to be a little bit better on energy, but still, it'll be good to have some uh, extra power cells. Well, guys, that's where we're going to call an end of this episode. Oh, God. Ow. Okay, we can run into seed pod clusters. That's something that we can do. I'm going to have to watch out for that. <laughs> We got some stuff done, all right? It wasn't easy, but we got it done, and we've got the beginnings of our base now. Now that we've got our battery charger here, uh, I feel like that's a game changer. That is a game changer. And now that we've got this Seamoth, we can go exploring the depths, guys. Go explore some new undiscovered terrain. So if you guys have suggestions for where you guys want me to go search, then please let me know down in the comments, guys. And if you guys have a good idea for a nickname for my new Seamoth, then go ahead and hit that up in the comments as well. Uh, anyhow, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. And come back next episode when I'll be doing some deep-sea exploring with my new Seamoth. I'll see you guys then.